Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today, beloved, on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. Encouragement is a wonderful and powerful gift. When we encourage others, we spur them on, we stimulate and affirm them. Webster's Dictionary defines encouragement as the act of inspiring others with renewed courage, spirit, or hope, or to stimulate or to give support. When we give encouragement, we affirm and we are showing appreciation. But there is a vast difference between appreciation and affirmation. Appreciation can come and go and it is usually related to something someone accomplishes. Affirmation goes deeper. It is directed to a person or toward a person. With appreciation, sometimes we feel that we must earn it, but Affirmation means even if we don't accomplish anything or fail to uh, succeed in a certain area or accomplishment, we can still affirm the person. People need encouragement and affirmation, even in failure and wrong choices, even more than when things seem to be going right. Um, it, even more than when things begin seem to be going right for them, do people need encouragement? Have you ever wondered why we Christians gather for Bible study and for worship? Well, centuries ago, when the early church was undergoing persecution, Christians began meeting together for encouragement. Fear gripped their hearts, and some believers defected from the faith, and others just drifted to a safe place. A letter began to circulate among the converted Jews, and the letter was the book of Hebrews. It is not sure really who wrote Hebrews, but the letter was written to inspire corporate worship. Hebrews ten nineteen through 25 reads, Since therefore, brethren, we have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he inaugurated for us through the veil, that is, his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our body washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds, not forsaking our own assembling together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. The writer of Hebrews begins this passage by by declaring what we have and what we don't have. We have confidence to approach God in verse 19. We have a priest, Jesus Christ, who gives us access to God in verse 21. Next, the writer of Hebrews tells us what to do. He tells us to draw near in verse 22. And then we are to become intimately acquainted with God. So there is no need of fear of God when you are drawing near. And then secondly, he tells us that we are to hold fast to the promises of God and to the truth of God. And then thirdly, he tells us to consider how to stimulate one another. Encouragement stimulates and sets us up to a deeper level of involvement and of love. Notice in verse 24, it says, let us consider how. We are not told specifically what to do to encourage. We are just to look for ways to exhort. But we are to be truthful. Encouragement is used. Uh, encouragement is used in Hebrews ten twenty five, is from the same Greek word used for the Holy Spirit in John fourteen. In both of these verses, the Holy Spirit is called the Helper, which means alongside. Just as the Holy Spirit is called alongside to help us, so it is when you and I encourage others. 
we are coming alongside and helping with our encouragement. So how can we give encouragement? Well, one way is to observe and mention the qualities that you see in others. You know, many times we think something good about someone, but uh, or else we notice a characteristic about them that we really do appreciate, but we don't affirm it. We don't tell them about what we see in them. Think of the special qualities that you see in people, such as punctuality, tactfulness, faithfulness, loyalty, a good attitude, diligence, honesty, compassion, sense of humor, faith, humility. These are just some of the characteristics that we can notice in people, but fail to tell them how they encourage us by possessing these great qualities. We can also send cards and notes of cheer. We can also give small gifts other than at holidays or on special occasions. We can make phone calls or notice a job well done. Remember that the writer of Hebrews tells us to consider ways of encouragement. Ask the Holy Spirit today to make you more sensitive to the gift of encouragement. And what about yourself? What should you do when you need encouragement, but you feel as if you don't receive it? Remember what David did. The psalmist said that he encouraged himself in the Lord. In fact, I believe this is the first way that we can, or I should say the first thing we should do before we try to encourage others is we need to be encouraged ourselves through the reading of the Holy Scriptures in, in the Lord Jesus Christ. Remind yourself what the Word says about you, how God loves you, how He will never leave you nor forsake you, how He has gone to prepare a place for you, and how He will return to take you home with Him. And lastly, beloved, encourage yourself by thinking great thoughts about others, by reading great books, and by always reaching out to others, for that in itself will encourage you personally and lift you up. Be supportive to to someone you know today who is hurting, and reach out without fear of what others may think or say. Reach out today in encouragement, and that you will find as you do that you will have faith to live by. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.